in the next lecture we are going to talk about command line arguments so what is a command line argument to any command when we pass additional parameters for execution of this command then these are called as command line arguments so when your program gets compiled it will create a machine level code file that would be an exe file so if your program is going to consume command line arguments then from the dos prompt so at the time of execution from dos prompt you can specify your exe name and you can pass your parameters like this few examples of command line arguments arguments are copy command and mkdr command so while using copy command i am writing two parameters abctxt and pqrtxt so these are nothing but my command line arguments similarly in case of mkdr we are passing directory name which will be created so directory name is a command line argument so in order to consume command line arguments inside of your main function we can use these two parameters first is orgc which is nothing but number of arguments that will be provided to this main function so it could be 2 3 and so on we require orgc as a variable so we can perform operations on parameters that will be sent so all the parameters that are sent will be stored into this array of character pointer so this will have your multiple argument so orgc can be used to validate whether user has entered correct number of arguments and then on these arguments you can perform your operation inside of your main function using command line arguments is a very important topic in the next lecture we are going to write a program where we will supply command line arguments to our main function and perform some operations based on the inputs